Hertz can no longer heal up. Now Yoya should feel pretty safe in this invade. He's not winning up on the straight 1v1, but Ahilasang is right behind him, which means the bow is going to be forced out of his jungle, and now Yoya can look to steal away some camps. So already off to a really good start from Mads. Yoya looking to chip away at Kaiser. Don't think it's going to result in much. And Kaiser will trade his health for El Yoya's. El Yoya doesn't have any potions, so Kaiser can always just heal himself up a little bit. Looks like Bo might be going for a mid lane gank here, realizing that Niski had to push forward to try and get any pressure down. Bo, Q, Niski tanks a tower, flash forward! That okay. was bold. Yeah. Of all the options Niski had, no, no really. You, you don't have Ignite Hillisang. Okay. Can oh, he I kill mean, them both? Both them are low. Here comes El Yoyo as well. El Yoyo flashes forward, decimating smashes enough. Bo trying to get him under the tower, but Hillisang with the flash shield heal. It's a double for El Yoyo in the mid lane. Recognize what they can and can't do on the map, making sure that they both stay relatively even and relevant. You can see that indicated on the bottom right now. Perks dives in, ults. Bo looking to secure a kill. Niski did, of course, invest that flash earlier on. Stage from Kazi. And like, if you ever have the opportunity to speak to Kazi, he's a hilarious guy. He loves keeping the atmosphere positive, and mechanically, he's still very good. Yeah, flash away from Neon Kaiser, of course, doesn't have flash. Kazi just needs a couple more orders from the Light Slinger to get it. Bo here locked up in the mid lane, and Yoya's gonna flash away. Perk's still trying to trade the Chaos Storm, ticking away at Bo. Perk splashes in, has one last Emperor to go forward. Meanwhile, Bo's able to kill off Hillisang as well, who went a little bit too deep as they were trying to chase Neon. Neon did fall, so it's a two for two so far across the course of the trade. But Bo going in, oh. he flash predicts the dash from Kazi. Niski flashes forward again, but this one has about as much use as the last. Niski 0-3, Bo and Perks are dominating. To keep his jungler alive, Bo gets stunned up, and then he's just forced to disengage, and he sees that Neon is the one in danger. Not much that he can do about it, but he gets them both low as Perks finds a kill, then ults on. Bo kills Hillisang. We have to immediately come back to the action as Bo has locked That's his eyes on Hillisang. That's a long range assist from Bo. Hillisang nowhere to go, gets caught out. Kazi pops the calling down, but Perks very happy to tank that. Vitality want to keep the pressure going. So, standing all the way back, <laughs> taking his time, charging up here. He's yet to lose any health. Get El Yoya Niski, able to take a tower. El Yoya waiting for that flank position. He goes in. Bo immediately knocks him up. The Culling coming down as well already. Hillisang is just dead. And so is El Yoya. Matt Lyons tried to pick a fight, but Vitality were having none of it. Just punched them down. Or they can look for picks as Mad Lions try and secure any parts of their own job. This is the shift that Pedro was talking about. Oh, Flash Bo in from in. Bo. Cease and desist. They're looking to try and kill off Hillisang as quickly as they can. They'll get him, but Bo a little bit deep here. Gets back underneath the tower, but he's tanking it. There's no minions there, and the shutdown goes over to Elio. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, there's a trade between the two top laners. Perks goes down as well. Kazi gets the shutdown. Photon losing to Chasey, but the all-out might be enough. Brings down the Intopos, and Photon misses the Q3. Chasey misses the wall-up. Photon still chasing forward. Chasey can't get the damage down. Photon wins it out. Okay, so Vitality get far too aggressive on the top side of the map and give two big shutdowns down to Kazi and El Yoya. It's hard to do damage when all of your abilities miss. Yes, yeah. quite right. But Mad Lions maybe see a lifeline back into the game. There's still 3,000 gold behind. Photon, no ghost on him, does have the all out. Are not oh, all no. the way through the terrain though, and now he's on the wrong side of the wall. Kazi gets it. 400 gold goes into his back pocket. Matt Lucian continues to get stronger and stronger. You're just going to call for the Baron here, Mad Lions. Maybe trying to pull Vitality all over the map. TP available for perks. You can see the pings down on him. True Shot Barrage goes down in Hillisang. Only at 500 HP. Bo has the Season Desist. There's the TP. After the tower goes down, Mad Lions will accept it. Vitality but Bo going to start this. Starts up the Baron once again. Matt, do you know it's happening? You got a ward there. You know now. You can see Neon's hitting it. 5,000 HP on it. Now four and a half. Chasey builds up the Meganar, no flash for him means he can't get in. Bo, still keeping it aggro, can just dash out of the back of the pit, but can also dash time. forward. Buying time for the reset from Photon, has that TP, nine seconds on him, six. We can count two, Betty, four, three, three two, two, one. Where's the TP going? Right into the midst of the team. Mad tried to turn the pit and into a the Baron. There's no way he'll get it, right? Surely not. And it goes in. And they stop it immediately. Elio flashes out the season. This is coming in. The calling not quite enough. And Bo lands the smite. Vitality for the second time this weekend show that they can stop and start a Baron at will. They kill off the enemy jungler and they get Kazi to boot with Baron up. <laughs> Kaiser very happy with how this game's going. Oh, so that 
that's why he was laughing. <laughs> I was wondering where it came from. The ultimate now from Bo. The chase in with the tidal wave as well. The tsunami maybe spelling the end for the Mad Lions here. Neon putting the damage down. The tower will fall. Photon goes down though. Mad Lions have found one. Neon flat dashing forward with the arcane shift. Nard into the wall because he has to dodge the true shot barrage. And even though Mad Lions are able to chip away the health bars of Vitality, and not able to do any meaningful lasting damage. Vitality might look for the win here, though Kazi, very difficult to deal with, can dash around, does have three items complete as well. Hiller saying now joins him, wild go to possibility, Alioya looking for perks. He'll slide his way back to his bodyguards. Hillisang. Hillisang. Don't Hilla do it again! Oh, he does it again! Perks just one-shots him. The KDA is being padded out by Perks. He'll hit 10 kills. He's like, maybe he thought, if I can get a whimsy down here, if I can stop them from recalling, that's the only way we win this game. So, credit to him for the thought. Uh, some discredits for the way it played hey man, out. If you don't love Hilly at his best, Wait, if you don't love him any oh, worse, you can't... And he flashed polymorphed, man! I love you, Hillisang! I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you! <laughs> Was it after Reckless or Hilly as the all-out comes out? Chasey chased off towards the back, and now five members of Vitality quickly surround him. Chasey will flash across the wall and manage to escape, but only delaying the inevitable you have to feel. Super Minions pushing in the bot wave. The Nexus Tower falls. The Inhibitor Tower up towards the top side. The next target for Vitality. A, an 8,000 gold lead. Vitality is still very healthy as they go towards the inhibitor tower. They will take it mid lane. They want to try and clear out. Mad Lions will catch that wave, try and stop the bleeding somewhere, try and put a tourniquet around it. For when your leg's been chopped off, the tourniquet doesn't help too much. About the top wave, they know that that's going to keep pushing it with the super minions. Again, their priority is actually not the Baron here, it is the soul. Aldioia looking for an avenue in, but Bo is not going to give it to him. They're in fact, the collapse is going to come through. Here's the ultimate. Bo looking to get that E out. Aldioia tries to dash away. Cyclone coming in with a cease and desist into the bubble. He stopwatched that. Bo now dashes back and immediately Aldioia is just deleted. Next up, Bo continues to chase forward. Perk sliding in as well. Chasey low. Photon dashes in with a Q3. And Niski is rooted for days. Up next is Kazi, Hillisang 2, only Chasey is chased away, but the True Shot Barrage dash. Photon, how many more, how many more dashes you got? Not enough, Perks will take it instead. Vitality, in dominant fashion, end out the week undefeated and join G2 at the top of the table. A 3-0 week for Perks' new team. He wanted to keep the expectations low. He wanted to make sure that people didn't overhype this new roster, but can we be hyped now? I Three be and hyped, zero. Yeah. This team is delivering. And how can we not be impressed with this mid-jungle duo? 11, two and six was the scoreline for Perks, but it really was him and Bo in the early game that was just tearing apart Mad Lions. The fact that they were able to get four kills after punishing. Well, I mean, remember that their bot lane just died.